Days passed and I had to come back and sit down and listen to the heart of Jesus. Thanking Him for His goodness, a reply is heard, is given to my soul, saying, You worry a lot about how to draw them to me. Oh boy, <laughs> do I. Let's be honest, the Lord continued, You are a bit worried about how to approach them to me. But you have indeed noticed me inspire you my way. Love. Bring them the joy I fill you with. Embrace them. Play and speak to them. Your kindness and cheer draws hearts to me. At the moment, they might not know much of me and how greatly I desire to be with them. But by the way you interact with them, as you bear my stamp cross, the necklace. They can see what a true Christian in love with her beloved one is like. You know, they experience the love I desire so much to endow and overwhelm them with. I wish they will be shown very much love, for like that, their soul is stilled, the stones in their hearts removed, dissolved, and set apart from the fertile field. The harvest is ripe, and love is making it ripe for the pig. You can use this weapon of love to the utmost. That is the above all and the most powerful weapon to bring me to souls. In time then, they will taste of me as I lead them in life. But in the now, they are being sown seeds of compassionate love, affection, respect. They are being shown what Christ is all about. And in time, the fruits will be ripe for the picking. So for the moment, love, love and laugh and learn to pronounce my name without fear or concern. This is yet another crown that I wish to till inside of you. You are not here to act perfect, to have it all figured out and know the exact words and step ahead. As you saw, when you are yourself and bring my joy around, I surprise you oh so beautifully. And here he was referencing to one event that happened previously. We met a group of children who met us before. And they, coming back from school, as we were walking down the valley from their home, they rushed in and hugged us so tightly, which kind of caught us off guard and surprised us joyfully. Jesus continued, Oh, they love you. Mm. They barely know me, you say, Jesus said. Well, they love the love you have, the smile and the cheer you have around yourself. They love love. And those with love recognize love and in turn give love themselves, as you all experienced. It is all an exchange of love, Jesus said. Your field is to sow with seeds of contagious joy and love. This is the field I wish you work on. It will also melt you and any fear it holds within. You will also experience me in this time. All has its purpose, and true it is. My plans for you are good and prosperous, wishing you well, not harm. And he was recalling there was one day that we were driving with a keke. You know, the little cars that you drive around here. And there was another keke up in front of us with a scripture written on its back. It was from Jeremiah. And interesting, I looked it up and the scripture was, My plans for you are good and prosperous. Wishing you well, not harm. And this was around the time, you know, the struggles were coming. So, the Lord and his nudges on the road. Jesus continued, You see, there is so much that has been coming your ways this couple of days, and each day has a growth to it. It's so beautifully orchestrated by me. He was marveling with joy. So, my lovely little daughter and spouse of mine, learn of me, for I am meek and humble of heart, compassionate and full of mercy for all. 
sow with seeds of my love, silent love, affectionate love, smiling love, laughable love. Walk with them and you will walk my paths. Be one among them. Keep yourself barefoot and leveled to them. Show them the kindness I show you. And do not try too much. Be yourself, for I am in you. Be in me, and together the fruit will increase. Conquer me. Conquer them. Conquer over field and troubles of heart. For all is well in my sight when you walk in meekness and love. You are also here to learn, so be open, watch and see, and take in the wisdom I bring to you. In all this, Take me by the hand and walk with me wherever you go. Keep on praying and shine with my light. Approach me more for all your needs as you have been asking lately. And you too will experience more of me, carry more of me, and give more of us to them. Do not be desperate over faults or shortcomings. As we said, you are also here to learn and be free. You are in good grounds. And there will be fruit not only around you, but within you too. As long as you keep me as the apple of your eyes, heart and mind, you are with me. And oh, great is my mercy amongst you too, and all you come in contact with. So be my shining light in this uphill valley, and allow me to do the rest. Carry me, and release my burning heart on all you meet, especially the little ones. Let them love you, embrace and touch you. You are to learn of them too. Be flexible and enjoy the moment I bring to you. It is good that you persevere about your faults. Let your confidence in me, trust in my mercy, grow and increase in you. Let it grow. Let it grow. Let it grow. Oh, Lord. I love you immensely. Thank you for yielding to my calling. You bring me billions of roses each day of my breath, Jesus said, which made me wonder. And wondering about this, I just said to myself within me, um, okay, interesting words. He seemed amused at my wonderment of, how? You will find out soon, he replied amused. Billion is a big number, Lord. But well, not to reason with you. (laughs) You know what you're saying. How I've missed you, he said. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness up here. It's been an amazing ride until now. My joy to hear you say that. Yield all areas of fear and struggles to me and allow me to cultivate them in you. I will take the weak and make it strong in me. And it will bear much fruit. Keep on. My sweet beloved mother is accompanying you and helping you develop. Trust her as you would trust me, for I trusted her with all of myself and entrust to her my beloved little children to nurture and care for them as she did with me while on earth and still comforts me greatly even now as she remains by my side always. So call and involve your family in this walk and journey and shine with my contagious joy. This I will fill you in as you come to be with me and step out with me. Do not try to grow yourself up. Allow me that. And you watch and see what I do with and through you. You are also my witness, witnessing too like the others what I do with your life. Now, my life.